Mister. You're not supposed to be able to do that yet. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. Today is light. Oh, that's bright. Today is library day here, so me and my buddy Nathan, here he is, are off to the library. We're actually going to a baby class this morning called Wrigley Readers, where they sing songs, tell stories, and basically make a whole lot of noise about books. Hope you can hear this. Damn, that wind picked up really quickly. Anyway, we are really excited. <laughs> Show them your excited face. Yeah! And we've got our Sophie. Sophie's coming to the library. I have a sneaky suspicion that Sophie may be coming everywhere with us for the next few months. So watch this space. Sophie on tour in Harbour. Like, not going very far. Usually attached to Nathan's hand in his pram. But still, Sophie on tour. Unfortunately, this little guy is due a nap in like the next 15 minutes. And the class starts in like the next 20. Uh oh, we're either going to with one cranky baby or he's going to sleep through the whole thing. Let's take bets now. Okay, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you think we're going to A, have a cranky baby that stays awake for the whole of the Wrigley Readers class, or B, have a sleepy baby that misses the entire thing. It's a reference point. He looks pretty awake right now. Yeah, pretty awake. Class is all done and look who's still awake. It's my little mister. He did so good. I'd love to know if you had guessed right or wrongly. I assumed he would stay awake, but only because I knew the class was going to be really, really noisy. I seemed to have a really good time. We did wheels on the bus. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we did blah, blah, black sheep. We did wheels on the bus. We had loads of stories, most of which I didn't know. We had a couple of songs I didn't know. We did horsey songs. Loads of stuff with action, basically. And we did have a little teapot. And it was Nathan's first I'm a little teapot and he was a star at it. He's now getting super duper grouchy because it is way past his nap time. His nap time should have been about half past ten. It's now quarter past eleven. So he's well overdue. You're all snuggled down I can hear, aren't you? You got your dummy. You got your dummy. You got your Sophie again. Now you can go to sleep. We're gonna take a slightly extended walk back to make sure that Nathan gets to sleep properly. But I have to walk back past the ice cream parlour. <sighs> that is so tricky, especially after I've now beat. Look what is staring me in the face coming out of the library. I will resist. I will. I will resist. I think this guy must have been absolutely wiped out. Literally the second we started moving, he's fallen fast asleep. It does mean my walk home is going to be a little bit boring. But no one to talk to. But equally, I am not going to look like a crazy person making funny noises all the way. These trees are lethal. The same trees as yesterday, they're like scattered stuff all over us. Our frost free fridge managed to fill itself up with ice this week. So we've spent the last couple of days defrosting the fridge and freezer. And while we were doing so, I've just feel like I look completely naked. Hang on. Okay, right, there you go. I don't look so naked now. While we were defrosting it, I left put a bunch of our frozen stuff into my mum and dad's freezer just so that it didn't go to waste pretty much. They're on holiday so they weren't needing it anyway. So I am now on a very, very fast run now while Nathan is napping and Chris is home with him. I'm going to run around, pick up our frozen stuff, come back. I've got to be extra quick because one, when Nathan wakes up he's going to be hungry and needs feeding. And two, I don't want the frozen stuff to have defrosted by the time we get home. Basically. So, right, on your marks, get set, go! So we're off to a good start. I have driven down and I found a parking space and it's in the shade so the car can stay cool while I go in and get the stuff. When I came down a couple of days ago to drop off the frozen stuff, I left behind all of my bags and things so I, because I knew that if I didn't leave them here I would forget to bring them back with me when I came. I'm not going to vlog any of my actual taking the stuff out of the freezer, packaging it back up and then running home because I'm going to be running and I do not have time to get the camera out for all that. I'll let you time me, right? Ready, set, go. Eight and a half minutes. And I promise you guys, I did not speed once. That was super fast. I was just really, really efficient. Getting the stuff out, locking up, driving around. Granted, flat was not that far away from here. Nothing defrosted, everything is perfect. It's great, we can now carry on with our day. And I'm home. I haven't heard the baby cry, which hopefully means he's still asleep. Great news, I didn't even know I was gone. 
She's even better. Today's nap is proving to be the longest he's had in ages. Clearly, going to that library thing this morning has really taken it out of him. So far, I've been to my mum's, watched an episode of Parks and Recreation, had some lunch, tidied the garden, tidied the kitchen, cleaned the fridge. Well, only a little bit of that because I've done most of it already. And, oh, and brought the washing in offline. Folded it, put it away. This is amazing. I've never managed to do so much in one nap time. Guess who's still napping upstairs? <sighs> My little angel has now been asleep for two hours and 23 minutes. That is, that is one hell of a nap. <laughs> I hope he's gonna sleep tonight. And what, I am still making the most of it. I all now, I now have, look at this, a hot drink, which I am drinking. Amazing. It's my first one of the day, so I totally deserve that. And I am going through some bits that I ordered from ASOS last week. So one of them is this t-shirt. Well, this top, which I really like. Hi, Shep. This one, all right. Which I really like, but I don't know if it goes with my jeans. I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if it goes. If it doesn't go, then I can send it back to Mario, see? Let me know, because I'm no good at this. I really like the top, but does it go with the jeans? Because it was super cheap, I also ordered it in plain teal. What do you think of this one? Do you prefer this one? Or is the other one better? I quite like the flowers, because it's a bit more interesting. Cost twice as much though. The one with the flowers almost ten pounds. This one was only five pounds. Ignore this. But if they don't go with my jeans, then I can't keep them. Please tell me I'm not the only one that goes in to check on the baby every now and again, just to make sure he's still breathing. I spoke to Chris about those tops, and he doesn't like them. Yo, no, he does like them, but he doesn't think they go. Now that is some impeccable timing, little one. Hey. I've just finished everything I needed to do. Mwah. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Don't cry. Hey, Mister. That was a monster. Two hour, 50 minute nap. Nearly a three hour nap. You little one must be starving. Are you hungry? Yeah, okay. Seems as you're up now, hey? We might as well head off to the post office. What do you think? We have 35 minutes to get there before it closes. Can we make it? <laughs> Technically, we're both pretty much ready to go. I need to put some shoes on, and it needs to get in his car seat, and that's it. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Ready, go team. 20 to five, and we've made it to the post office. I am sure we can unload the car and get in that door, that door there, within the next 20 minutes, and then get in the queue. And get rid of our packages, right? Looks like we made it. We did it. Three packages posted, three receipts for proof of posting received, and it's still only 20 to 5. There's loads of time left. Not what I was worried about. Hey, Daddy, we're home. <laughs> Nathan's hair looks ridiculous from this angle. Oh dear. That is a truly a bad hairstyle, mister. Mummy needs to brush that. We've just been sitting here debating how Nathan probably won't crawl and maybe he'll just go straight from rolling over to standing up and walking. Because he loves pushing himself up off you. Chris just put him down on the floor and we'll see if we can get him to repeat this. <laughs> just studying him bit. <laughs> Mister, you're not supposed to be able to do that yet. When he put him down a moment ago, not only did Nathan take his weight and get, he was kind of like, toddling, like not toddling, waddling with Chris support in his arms and then he took two steps like I know it's a good, it's like an innate reaction thing but it was amazing it's so cool to see I cannot wait till he does that for real it makes me so happy come on yeah. <gasps> look at you go did you do that? does it you? I had what must have been the most productive nap time ever today. I know it wasn't my nap time, it was Nathan's nap time. It was awesome. It was three hours worth of getting stuff done. And I think to celebrate that fact, I am gonna spend this evening doing nothing. I'm gonna watch TV, I'm gonna mess around on the laptop, and I'm just gonna chill out totally and completely. And hopefully, Nathan will sleep reasonably well, despite the huge nap. Anyway, bye guys, see you tomorrow.
This time. 